This is Cindy and Pam, and we're going to show you today how to make edible spoons. So what kind of pastry are you going to use today? Oh, today we're going to use the refrigerated pastry, the simple rolled up pastry that you would find in the market. And, of course, you let it get room temperature. You're using the granule trap heavy duty. Very important to use the heavy duty. I like to use the Asian spoon. It's not that imperative you use it, but I found it to be what I had, first of all. And pretty easy to mold. It's a ceramic when some folks have um, plastic. You have plastic, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you have plastic. You tried your spoon cutter, right? Yep. Yeah. How'd you do with the plastic? When it worked good. Yeah, I've got several of these. I've never really used them. But this way, uh, and you've got your spoon mold right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the back here. I'll just move these over, over here because now we've got our little spoon mold. Try not to get too carried away. And we kind of got a little ahead of schedule today drinking our wine. Pam insisted we drink wine today. Oh, on camera oh, shot. Oh, wine. Oh, here we go. Cheers, girl. Cheers. Cheers. Got that one done, didn't we? Oh, oh. Okay, now, this is your basic pastry from the market, which I love. Because if you have something quick to do at the office or just for a quick party, and I was trying to figure out how many... Would you get, how many spoons can you get out of one pastry roll up? Looks to me to be 10. It's 10, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just set that there because now that you see we can get 10 out of that, I want to show you something how easy this is. Now keep in mind that's only a holder. We have the foil. And we've set that foil inside the Asian spoon. Like I said, it's got a nice bowl on it, so it's my personal favorite. And I'm going to press in that bowl, but I'm going to take it nice and easy because the dough will crack. Especially it'll crack if you let it sit out for too long. Let the air get it. Okay, through the magic of video. I want you to see this is what you would be setting on your cookie sheet. But looky here. We have cooked. Those are all ready to go. What do you think? Isn't that great? And they're just lightly browned. Very excited. They turn out good. And what I did was I put them in at 350. Now, I was thinking they would let you think I could get them done in 10 minutes. That didn't happen. I set the timer for seven minutes. I kept the light on and I kept looking at them. And then about seven minutes, I rotated this whole thing. So, got them even on both sides, evenly brown. So, how long did it take? It, it probably took 12 to 15 minutes. Okay. And I, then I didn't leave. I kept my eye on it because I just love my little spoons. So I thought what we would do is we're going to fill them up today. How about that? Can I do that? So I'm going to pull these off the cookie sheet. They're, um, they're all cooled. And I'm just going to set this back over here. And that's cooled. And this one broke. Now this will happen. So. Would you like a tasty? I love a tasty. Okay. Tasty bite. Okay, see, so this is what happens. You can get tasty from that. Okay. And so these are all reusable. See, now with you here, I have to share my broken tasties, don't I? Yes. Okay. So what would you like? Let's do, I think, lemon curd. So I'm really crazy mm -hmm. about my lemon curd. And what I did here, got a little carried away, actually. 
because I was gonna. We're thinking more. What would we? How would we get these to the office? Well, I can take these, line them up. My container. They don't have to be filled with anything. Get to the office and fill it up. Maybe one of those little lovely platter or something over there. Is there a platter over there? Would you like to try this? Yes. Oh, is that that's your personal platter? That's my personal oh, platter. Oh, okay. You give it to me. Let's get let's see what you think. Because I haven't tried it yet. Very nice. Okay. And then I got a little carried away on this too. Because I know meringue weeps after a while. And it's not easy, really easy to work with. I made the meringues that I cooked and I just let them sit in the oven overnight. So I'd like you to try that. And then the lemon peel that I rolled in sugar. There you go there. Okay, that one's for you. So, oh, here you go. I wouldn't eat it all. You know what you were talking about earlier was using that extra dough to make stars and stuff. Yes. Yeah, I'm just looking at using it as little stars or circles. Yeah, rather than wasting any dough. Yeah. So this is actually the lemon curd and the meringues. What do you think? Oh, How is it? It's like lemon yeah. meringue pie. Oh, good, good, good. That's what we wanted to go for. Mm. But it's easy to work with, easy to carry to a party, to an event. Make a head. These are the these are the pieces right here. I mean, you can make as many spoons as you can do. You're reusing the foil anyway. So. Oh, and here's a nice little little platter here. So I think what we're going to do, and the nice thing about these is you see how fast we're doing this, Pam? There's no reason why you can't just carry the component, components separately. Everything yep. stays fresh. Yep. Mm. What do you think? You like the flavors? Oh, it's wonderful. And that 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 meringue worked out really well. This side is uh, oh, very pretty. That's a nice piece. Yeah. Mm. What are you hungry for? I'm going to set this aside because I noticed we have some corned beef for there. Would you like? Corn. Corned beef would be great. Okay. Mm. Oh my goodness, look at corn bread. Oh, coleslaw. Oh, okay. Mm. Let's mm. let's give that a try. So what are you thinking? Corn coleslaw on the bottom. Yeah, and some horseradish. Okay. Nice. So you want that combination? Yes. So what are you thinking? Maybe. A nice little dollop. A little dollop in the bottom. That's a pretty decent two biter. Yes. Right? Well, so if I give you one, will you well, be for my me, taste? it's like three or four bites. Well, you're very delicate. Now, me, uh -huh. I'm down the hatch, girl. Okay, so. Oh, look at that, fresh corned beef. This is a little challenging. I probably should have got... That way you get it. Where's your... Oh, you've got your lovely plate there. I want you to be the first to taste this. So, so corned beef just isn't for uh, March. No, not at all. Ugh. I'm not Irish. Yeah. I've got the... Yeah. Let's see if that was going to sit yeah. up. Oh, it did. It did. Yes. Okay, let's see how you are. Oh, look at that. That is a lovely piece. Wow. Tell me how it tastes, though. Mm -hmm. This is so... Okay, oh. let me tell you about this. Oh. Let me tell you about this. Mm -hmm. So, the corned beef was a piece of cake. I just spiced it up. This morning, I put a little bit of the uh, the chicken broth in the crock pot, 
with this slab of the corned beef. When I came home from work, I brought with me from the deli this wonderful uh, coleslaw. And it is it's simply a deli coleslaw. I'll tell you what, I can't do it for what they do it for nowadays. What you can buy this for, and it and it's so good. It's, it's ever so yummy. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna set this down. Try to leave it up here because this isn't a big deal. But sometimes they do like to move around. Uh, yeah, but and, and and you can just kind of pile it on as much as it'll take. You know, that like one the edge. So I went to this event, and I had a friend, Candy, that, I believe it was for Valentine's Day, she gave me homemade blue cheese. Oh. Bring, she brought me some homemade blue cheese. Let's see, I broke this. Mm -hmm. Would you like to taste this? You already did. I can I eat it. Are you serious Why don't right you now? try one? Well... I'm busy. Okay. I'm drinking my wine. Well, even if it's broke, it still looks nice. Eat. All right. Uh, I tell what I'm going to do. I'll make another one real quick. So anyway, so Candy, I go to the house, and um, she left me a note to go to the fridge, and she made me this wonderful blue cheese. I couldn't believe it because I had an event in our wonderful little town of Idaho Springs. And I was looking for the perfect base for those li cute little pepperonis. Mm. And you see them in the, you see them and you wonder, well, what do you do with those things? Because they're so cute and so little. What would be better than to take some piece of nice, heavy, uh, uh, sharp cheddar? Real, real sharp cheddar, and, and and put that in a a nice blue cheese, and put a wedge of the uh, of the pepperoni, pepperoni next to it. Look at that. Okay. So what do you think? How does that? How did it turn out? Oh, it's wonderful. Is that yummy? Yes. Okay. So I hope you break a lot more. Well, that's the plan. <laughs> you eat all you eat all the broken ones, okay? And you deserve it. That's the best part about it. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking is is you for the, the these two round pieces mm -hmm. of pastry, you could you're gonna get twenty spoons. Possibly break Two to three. Now we've broken. I might be picking them up wrong. I don't know. It it just those things happen. But it also you're going to be eating a few anyway. So here we go again. I'm going to take these off the cookie sheet. Again, it's cooled. I'm sliding it off. We're going to reuse this. And see, here's one. It's kind of cracked anyway. It's compromised. You never know, they're a little rustic. And what I did, which I didn't, I didn't say anything to you about, but I took my fork and I poured, put portholes in it. So I just put that in there and I'll show you how I did that. Because I don't want that to be an oversight here. Here's the one I did before. Here's our Asian spoon again. So Jack, keep up. Uh Putting the holes in it, keep it from. It just keeps it from. Oh no, the portholes, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And you know the thing is, is, is if you have a pie, use pie weights. I use beans, but I'm gonna just pour it this way right here. And it was, it's real simple. Yeah. See? And I'm gonna lift that off again, back onto the cookie sheet. Great form. It couldn't be better than it, but you know what? One of those, uh, uh, a, a full roll of this uh -huh. heavy duty wrap, 
50 square feet. You know, I'm going to be doing these things forever from this front wall. It's nice that you can I'm, I'm good with them. that. I like things right out of the kitchen. Yeah. I don't want to have to, to worry about having all my supplies out of hand. So, you know what I, I think would be really good? We've got that shrimp. We've got the Dijon. Now, the Dijon, I cooked a little bit earlier, heavy cream. And it is Dijon mustard. And garlic. I, cr I crushed up some garlic, and I put that in. And I'll tell you what, I reduced it. Oh, gosh. So what kind of garnish would you use on that? Um, I would say green onions, but I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just put that little shrimp right in there. And these are some pretty nice shrimp. These were the large ones. 21, 25s. I'm going to put me a nice little dollop there. And that's never going to be enough, trust me. This stuff is so yummy. Always make enough so when you're grazing, you get carried away. Look at this. Isn't that good? Okay, so you've got the jumbo shrimp, Dijon mustard heavy cream with garlic reduced in a saucepan. And then just a little bit of green onion on that. Would you like to... Are you going to try that with me today? Yeah. Okay. Then. Okay. I just want you to enjoy But that. you could use other kind of garnishes too on that, like, you know. Capers. Capers or Would you dry. like to try, would you like capers? Would you like to try, not everybody likes capers. No, I don't like capers. Okay, but. How about. How about. We have sun dried tomatoes. Oh, I love sun dried tomatoes. Okay. Let's give it a try. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these. Mm -hmm. And what I did was took Tony Chatteries, I believe that's how you say that. And as I was cooking these in its own juices, in just a little shallow saucepan, mm -hmm. I just kind of sprinkled that on there. Would you like this? Did you like the yeah. sun dried tomato sun -dried idea? Tomatoes. Would you like to do a little bit of both? You think that would be good? Yeah. Okay. For the color? Yes. Yeah, see, and it's all about the presentation. Now, I see what, what, what we've got here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this one to you. Mm -hmm. But I'm also going to try that sauce on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Okay. 